Well, time is officially ticking tonight for a beloved Grand Strand eatery. Our Ali Espinosa explains why that deadline's approaching and how you customers are taking the news. Look at all the pictures of all these veterans, all the ones that's deployed. George Wantier is pictured in one of the hundreds of photos lining the walls of Veterans Cafe in Saucesty. Stills that could come down for good as soon as October. It takes me back, you know, 50 some years ago to when I was in Vietnam. Um, in the last day I was there, it's, um, this runs through you. I just couldn't wait to get out of there. <laughs> Cafe owner Lou Mascherino tells me he's proudly operated his business for 15 years, but he's simply struggling to keep up with the property's rent and battling some ongoing health issues. While Mascherino says his retirement in the fall is a near certainty, he notes Veterans Cafe could end up staying in business under new ownership, and he's already seen local interest in keeping it open. It's a few, uh, uh, full community. Amid all the uncertainty about the cafe's future, both management and regulars tell me they are sure that they formed close bonds inside the property and would hate to see it go. Favorite memories of people. Uh, I've been, we made some good friends here. We made. Uh, we heard some good stories in here. This has been my second home. You know, I live by myself since my wife passed away. And I try to come here as much as I can during the week. Uh, it's a place to come and, and meet new friends, veterans, non-veterans. Anybody's welcome to come here. And uh, It's just going to be a sad day when they have to put the lock on this door. I'm told the cafe will stay open until the earliest October, but Mascherino is asking if anyone would like to buy the cafe to reach out as soon as possible. Reporting in Saucesty, Ali Espinosa, WMBF News.